Welcome to the Oakland Zoo. Is this your first time to the zoo? If so, click the guide button. Main menu. The Oakland Zoo is broken into three main parts. The atlas, the zoo map, and the virtual zoo walk. Let us start by explaining how the atlas works. Notice that this screen has a map button and a main menu button at the bottom left side of the screen, which can be activated any time by simply clicking on it. Also, notice there are nine animal buttons. Let's try clicking the elephant button first and see what happens. African elephant. African elephants are in danger because of loss of habitat and because of poaching for ivory. Since their protection by the CITES several years ago, populations have increased. But as elephants are losing their fear of humans, they are venturing into farmland and have become a problem for locals. Each year when the CITES meets, there is pressure to downlist elephants and allow trade again. Now that you know a little more about the African elephant, let's click the button again to get back to the nine animal buttons. Let us try another way to get to the elephant. We can do this by location. Follow the black line from the elephant to the end and you will see a blue button. Notice the cursor over this blue button. It tells you the name of the continent that the animal lives on. You can click on this blue button and get the same result as the elephant button. The same applies for the rest of the animals. Now that you know a little about how the atlas works, let's move on to the zoo map by clicking the map button. We are now at the zoo map. Notice the map of the zoo contains yellow dots. These yellow dots are buttons too. Each dot takes you to a different part of the zoo where you can begin your virtual zoo walk. By placing your cursor over a yellow dot, you can find out what animal resides there. Let's begin our virtual zoo walk at the elephant. You are now at the elephant. Notice the screen has changed. This screen consists of a compass, a map of current location, a virtual window, a map button, a main menu button, and four movement buttons. This is the north movement button on the compass. This is the west movement button on the compass. This is the south movement button on the compass. This is the east movement button on the compass. Notice the compass. It tells you the direction that you are facing relative to the map. The bird on the map is you. This is the move forward button. This is the turn left button. This is the turn around button. And this is the turn right button. Let us start with the turn left button. Notice that the picture in the virtual window changed. Also notice the compass and the bird on the map changed. You are now facing north. Let's click the turn left button again. Notice again that the picture in the virtual window changed as did the compass and the bird on the map. As you will soon figure out, each dot on the map contains four pictures representing north, south, east, and west views from that particular spot. Let's again click the turn left button. Notice once again the change that happened. Also notice that you can see a walkway in the picture. Why don't we move forward since we can see this walkway? Let's click the Move Forward button.
Notice that the picture in the virtual window changed again. Also notice that the compass did not change because you were already facing south. Do notice that the bird on the map moved down to the next dot. You see, you, the bird, moved ahead one step. With this all in mind, you can move from dot to dot and see the entire zoo. But how do I see the animals, you might ask? We'll get to that in a second. Let's click the Turn Around button. Now notice that you turned completely around in that same spot, so you are now facing north. Let's click the Turn Right button now. Notice the new picture. You can see the elephants. Also notice that the wooden frame changed color. It tells you that there is an animal coming. Wait just a couple seconds and notice a new complete change. Ding! I see a quarter in a viewfinder. Let's click the quarter. Wow, I see the elephants, don't you? Let's click the text and see what happens. Notice the change in color. It means it is a button. African elephant. Now click the two elephants. Wow, did you see that movie? Elephants are such amazing animals. Notice the virtual window has changed to a blackboard that contains amazing information about the elephants. Use the scroll bar to look at the information. Also notice the information below the blackboard. Let's click another button. Please, do not feed the animals. Don't you know already that you are not supposed to feed the animals? Let's click the voice box now and learn something else. Can you see where our elephants have been digging with their tusks? Why do they do that? In Africa, elephants dig for water or minerals or roots. They strip bark off trees for food. Elephants protect themselves and their babies with their tusks, and sometimes males fight each other with their tusks. Elephants have even been known to drape their trunks over their tusks while they sleep. You have four incisor teeth in your upper jaw. Put your fingers on your second pair of incisors. Now imagine that they are growing out and down. An elephant's ivory tusks are those same teeth. African elephants like these have become endangered because poachers hunt them for their ivory. Each tusk on a large elephant may be worth more than a year's salary to a poacher, but remember, it is worth its life to an elephant. The current law makes it illegal to bring ivory into the United States. Let's keep it that way and help save elephants in the wild. Wow, we sure learned a lot about the elephants. To leave this section, just click the viewfinder to exit, or you can also click any of the movement buttons. Oh, I almost forgot one powerful feature to show you. It is the animal index. Let's click the index button and see what happens. Notice the screen has changed. Also notice that there are four animal buttons, which are in alphabetical order from top down. But where are the other animals in the index, you might ask? Well, to see the others, just click the forward arrow, which takes you to the end of the alphabet. Notice this page covers letters A to C. This page covers letters D to F. This page covers letter G. This page covers letters H to O. This page covers letters P to S. This page covers letters T to Z. 
You see, it is like a dictionary or an encyclopedia. All the animals in alphabetical order. To go back towards the A, simply click the left arrow button. Let's click the zebra button. You see, we are at the heart of the zebra information. The other animal buttons in the index do the same thing. To go back to the index, simply click the index button again. That pretty much sums up how everything works. Thank you for your patience and please enjoy the rest of the Oakland Zoo. Main Menu